Septoria leaf spot or brown spot is not a disease that's of major economic importance, but it does result in a little bit of yield loss in some situations. Um, when we look at management for this, this is again a residue borne disease. So it starts in that lower leaf litter, and works its way up, so fields in no-till. Fields with continuous soybean production are going to definitely have a higher disease severity or higher potential for disease. We know that varieties vary in their susceptibility, but there's really not any published information on that, so you're going to have to rely on your experience with those specific soybean varieties. This is a disease that when you're making or looking at making a fungicide application at that R3 or early R4 timing in soybean, you'll have an added benefit if you have brown spot in the field because you're going to get some control and you're going to pick up uh, additional yield because of that. So one of the things that I recommend for our soybean farmers is to look at those fields, you know, right at that window. If you have a field that's yellowing in the bottom and you see brown spot in there, you know, try that fungicide application in that field compared to one that's not because you know you're going to pick up more. Fields that are irrigated, uh, like we're in today, definitely going to have a higher potential because you've got that moisture. And this is a fungal disease, works a lot like gray leaf spot in corn, so you're going to see with that added moisture and humidity, higher disease severity as well. Um, but again, it's, it's not one that's a major thing that when you see it, you got to definitely make that application and control it, but it is one of the diseases that we see out there when we're looking at foliar diseases of soybean, particularly when we get at the canopy point and then after with that, that pod filling stages.